first Kirtantra Hari where we met Mr. Dean here in October in 2008 and we found the first Kirtantra Academy in Africa and it is the same thing in the world. And uh, we are working on many projects. We are uh, working with uh, the digital city of Eindhoven in the Netherlands where we have distributed more than 700, uh, 700 uh, computers in the Barrick area and some of them are in the What I'm going to talk about in just three or four minutes about is the center, knowledge center, and what applications we have because I remember one of the speakers this morning said we hear about knowledge, but we didn't hear about application of knowledge. So I am going to talk about application of knowledge, knowledge and to that. Uh, actually the center is the public place where you gather information or you access internet, computers, and you process this information to get your life being shared or for the better of your life for community development. We have to talk about what is data. That is the measurement. Data itself alone cannot do many things. But when we process it, it is information. When we utilize it, it is a knowledge. When we best utilize it to the right person, it is a knowledge and a knowledge management. So what we are doing actually in Abari, we are developing four or five knowledge projects. One of them is out of school. Yeah. As I mentioned, we have a partnership. And if you look at the first logo for uh, Sonta and Gadari, the logo for Gadari City it is by one click you go to the wild. And Sonta, it is a Japan, it is a Sudanese coffee. How we drink coffee. Usually in Sudan, during the coffee break, we discuss everything and we solve every problem in Sudan. It is the same idea about uh, it is a city center without IT equipment. There is no IT equipment, but it is a city center. So, we have a strong partnership with the digital city of Andalusia. We have developed six projects in Gabari. This is the first project. It is an agricultural project where we allow the farmer to manage their farm from any place in the world if they use the GIS in the system of the government. Every farmer has no the GPS as the altitude for his uh, farm and he can manage it from any place. And it solves a lot of problems. It is solves the conflict between the farmer and the shepherd and the forestry department. Also, we provide the knowledge of information for the crop market. We use the data of the crop market, we process it as information, and we utilize it as the crop market uh, web portal. And also, we use the information, in, we utilize the information in uh, the internet to use it for uh, their group disaster control. And also, we use it in agro mobile services to provide sick services to the farmers. This is what we are doing in the Barrick University because we believe that universities are the big knowledge centers in everywhere. So we work with the Barrick University, we provide them with more than 120 computers in the computer uh, college, and also we provide them with a the three unit. This is our uh, building. So we provide it with more than 150 million. They it is donated to us by the National Telecommunication Company when we get the corporation when we get our sales over. This is an out of school children. This is a project, real project in uh uh Media. This is a partnership between the Ministry of Education in Abari and the Bar University. We started in two thousand seven and in two thousand nine we have a partnership with the Lafayette and UNICEF, UNICEF, with the Lafayette University and UNICEF, and we are training the students. 
and this picture on the right, on the left hand, this is the winner of the best award for the year 2011 in the world. This is just two weeks ago. This is how we are working with the disability. We are working with people with the disability. We are providing them the information to help them utilize the knowledge available and we are providing them with free computers. We have more than 60 deaf students. They are using computers. They are doing a lot of things. They have it in their, their home. And uh, this is the mayor. This is part of the city center. Some of them are the direct digital city city center, and some of them, some of them are government city center. As engineer for water commission this morning, they have around 1,500 uh, uh, school city centers, and they have about 150 community city centers. This is our idea, the last idea, because we are going now to get all these three projects in a mobile city center. We are going to use a bus, we are going to use it in the rural area, in the nomads, with the nomads and everyone who is uh, disadvantaged or um, have no services. We are going to use this mobile city center to, to provide uh, a basic building to teach out of school children in the morning and out of in the evening. We are going to use it we are going to use it with the solar energy. So we are going to charge more uh, mobiles for the community. This will be part of the sustainability of this project. And uh, we are going also to use it for a telemedicine unit. And we are going to use it also as uh, many other agriculture extension and those services. If you don't mind, just one second, one minute. Mm -hmm. This is the last idea. I want to present it because just it's 30 seconds. I presented. I presented. This is the last idea which you are expecting. The future of knowledge. The future of knowledge is this project. It is 30 seconds. If I have it uh, installed, I can show it to you because this is one of the final uh, projects which get to the final award in uh, IPU International Education. Uh, union in the last two months. Thank you.